What if the polar ice caps melted? A report from NASA in 2020 estimated ice sheets in Greenland and Antarctica are losing ice six times faster than they were in the 1990s. Does this mean we'll see higher sea levels, more extreme weather, unpredictable planetary conditions, and what impact would it have on our way of life? Let's take a look at some projected outcomes if these predictions turn out to be true. A study published by the IPCC reports that by 2050, melting sea ice is expected to raise water levels by 5 to 9 inches. This would have major effects on low-lying cities like New York, Miami, Hong Kong, Los Angeles, and Shanghai. Furthermore, it is expected that droughts will become more common in some regions, and crops could suffer from extreme temperatures and unpredictable precipitation patterns, affecting our food supply. Due to the Industrial Revolution, which also gave rise to our current ways of life, carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gas emissions have raised temperatures in the atmosphere and are even higher in the polar regions. If the current trend continues, according to an article by WorldWideLife.org, more than a third of the world's remaining glaciers will be gone by the year 2100. So you may be asking the question, how can we prevent melting ice caps and global warming? Well, if everyone started to incorporate sustainable lifestyles in everyday life, we could reduce energy consumption and lower our carbon footprints. Using LED lights, switching to electric vehicles or public transportation, changing out old appliances with energy efficient ones, recycling, buying local, and lastly, changing your habits when it comes to meat consumption. By taking these everyday actions, we'll be reducing the amount of greenhouse gases that are produced from waste and emitting fewer greenhouse gases overall. If every person does a little, it will add up for a big impact. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, subscribe to our channel to stay tuned for more news, sustainability science, tips, and more at sustainableearth.org.